More people feeling the effects of the huge Ferguson fire just west of Yosemite. The fire is only 7% contained and it now covers close to 36 square miles. Smoke from the fire has now made it to Lake Tahoe, a thick haze currently looming over the lake. Reporter Paul Nelson on a summer weekend that is now almost smoked out. Let's go! There's no shortage of things to do at Lake Tahoe, especially when it comes to beating the heat. The air is smoky and hazy, but that's not scaring anyone away from the beach. It was a little surprising. We didn't expect it. You know, yesterday was pretty clear when we got up here, but, you know, it didn't seem to be affecting anybody. Let's stay where we can see you. This group is going jet skiing, and it's business as usual at the rental shop. Since it's smoky, I want you guys to stay a little closer. Parasailers say the smoke's a little worse up above, but as busy as the lake is, perhaps the smoke's biggest impact is the view. It's a little bit harder to see all the way across the lake, but I think people are here to have a fun time no matter what, so they're going to try their best to do that. About 2,700 people are running in the Regnar Trail Tahoe event through tomorrow. Each person will run a total of 16.7 miles, so teams are paying close attention to the air quality. We're warning runners as they go out kind of periodically, just keep an eye on it. If anybody has asthma or any other uh, lung issues, um, take their inhalers with them. They're also keeping an eye on the runners. The altitude and heat combined with the smoke can take their toll. Some are wearing bandanas to keep from breathing too much smoke. It's rough. It's dusty and smoky. So you're out here running and uh, the dust gets you at first. And then once you get out there, it's a little bit smoky and you're just trying to keep in your zone. But organizers say the runners are in good spirits. Instead of complaining about the smoke, they're asking questions about safety and enjoying the trails. We're all having fun. We all, we all find a way to enjoy it. We came out here to torture ourselves, so the smoke's just a little extra torture, right? The National Weather Service says it's hard to predict how much longer this smoke will stick around because a lot of it has to do with how much more the fire kicks it up. At Lake Tahoe, I'm Paul Nelson.